Fish on. Let's go. Let's go. What we got here? Woo! Come on. Come on. Got ourselves a nicer fish here. Wow. Twitch. Got it. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Nice crappie. Oh, tonight's fish is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Never you know, know what you're going to catch. <laughs> you're watching Freshwater Diaries with Jesse Jones. What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Freshwater Diaries. I'm Jesse Jones with 925th Ultralight Fishing and that is exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to do some ultralight fishing down on the Sacramento River. Now, I grew up fishing the Sacramento River pretty much my whole life, um, but I grew up on the opposite side of where we're going today. I grew up on the side of the Sacramento River that meets with the San Joaquin. And the reason why that's relevant is this. We are uh, heading to the opposite side, which is considered smallmouth country. Okay, that's where all the small mouth are located. We don't have them on my side of the river, so it's a rare occasion that I ever get to fish for these guys. Um, so that said, my plan for today is to do some ultralight fishing and to try to get my hands on at least one small mouth while I'm out there large mouth fishing. I'm gonna catch as many large mouth as I can, big or small, I'm gonna catch them all. Uh, this, the ultralight setup I'm using today is six pound, six pound test, uh, high vis orange braid on a six pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, Hopefully I can get my hands into a bunch of in a bunch of largies and while I'm there get my hands on some of these small mouth uh, Again, it's a rare occasion that I get to go out there. So I'm really excited about this today The Sun's just now starting to come up I'm gonna be meeting Matt from 925th out there on the water's edge when I get there I'm gonna unload some of this equipment. I'm gonna launch the kayak and then I'll see you guys out on the water. Let's go What depth are you sitting at? Uh, I was about uh, 18 feet down. Is it really that deep right there? I'm in 15, but I was fishing out a little deeper, but it, it's kind of going up and down, but I was kind of in a hole right there. But I'm in, I'm actually in 13 now, but you know, you step out four feet, you, you're gonna be in 16 feet of water. There we go, there we go. Yeah. Come on. There we go, come on. That's a decent fish right there too. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at him. Yo. Nah, it's a large mouth. Get in here. Decent one, nice. <sighs> here we go. Not bad. Go ahead and let him go and keep, uh, keep fishing. I'm after some smallies today. I want to get me at least one smallie while I'm here in smallie country, but it's a pretty large mouth though. Very pretty. Good looking fish. Go ahead and throw him back. What do we got here? There we go. Ah, nice. Fishing the uh, 
the uh, six pound test braid here, high vis orange line, and uh, I've got the 164th ounce jig throwing the chartreuse curl tail grub right now. Seems to be doing the trick, so I'm gonna keep pitching it out here and see what else we can get into. I'm really hoping to get on one of these smallies today. Let's go ahead and throw him back and keep keep searching for a smallie. There we go. Oh, fish on, fish on, come on. A dozen over here, all over the place. I throw him back. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Finally. Oh, finally got uh, the smallie I was looking for. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See, I don't live on this side of the river. I live much further down the Sacramento River. So I don't get to fish this stretch of the river very often. Um, so I never get a chance to catch smallie. So this is just awesome. I'm like super stoked about this. I know he's not huge, but we're ultralight fishing today. And like I said, I never get an opportunity to fish for smallies. So I am beyond juiced about this one. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. The bronze coloring, the red eyes. You, know, you just can't, can't ask for more than that. I'm gonna take a picture of this thing. It's a gorgeous looking fish. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back and we're gonna keep going. There we go. There we go. Nice. There you go, that's a better fish. Oh yeah, come on. Not a huge fish by any means, but he's got a lot of spunk to him, doesn't he? There we go. All right. Come on. Pretty fish. Heck of a lot of fight to him for sure. Really pretty fish. Yeah, nice color. Very nice color. Alright, let's go ahead and throw him back. And just keep on going. You know, getting a, a lot of bass out here today, I was thinking that this was going to be a really productive area for multi-species, but this is turning out to be quite the bass haven. But hey, you won't you won't catch me complaining. Let's go ahead and throw him back. You know the routine. Catch him, kiss him, cut him loose. Let's get back to it. Oh, oh you're on, folks. Come on, come on. Fish on, let's go, let's go. 
what we got here. Woo. Come on. Come on. Got ourselves a nicer fish here. Wow. That's a pretty fish. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That's a pretty fish. Man. Let me get this uh, hook out of his mouth real quick. So I can show y'all how pretty this girl is. Let's see. Pretty smallmouth. Wow. Man, I love these fish. I mean, that's just such a pretty fish. Like I said, I don't get a, a lot of opportunities to fish for these, these types of fish, man. So anytime I get a chance to get my hands on some smallmouths, I mean, I'm just, I get so excited about the opportunity. Let's go ahead and put this pretty girl back. And uh, we'll keep on going. Pretty fish. Ah, man. So juice. Such a good day of fishing. Let's go ahead and put her back. There we go. Uh, I believe we're there. Let's see. This feels like a nicer fish. Ooh, it sure is. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Another beautiful fish out here on the Sacramento River. Man. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I just. I'm having a good day. I'm having a good day. Just the weather's perfect. The water conditions are perfect. The fish are just, just beautiful fish. I mean, you just, you really can't complain. You really can't. You know, I'm thinking about in Romans chapter one, verse 20, the apostle Paul talks about how God's, God's beauty is, is, his power is evident in his creation. And, uh, I'm telling you, I mean, it's, Never more obvious to me that that's the case than when I'm out here. I mean, I, every time, big or small, when I look at one of these guys, I can't help but think about exactly that, just how beautiful creation is and how evident God is in the middle of all this. Let's go ahead and throw this guy back, and we're going to keep we're going to keep going. I mean, this is just, it's a, it's a great day to be fishing, and we're going to keep on going. We're going to keep having more and more fun. So let's let this guy back, and uh, we'll do exactly that. Oh, we're on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. That's a nicer fish. Oh, shit. up in one of my other rods. Jeez Louise. Ah, it's a nicer fish too. Thankfully he didn't shake me off. There we go. There we go. That's a pretty bass too. Whew. Man, sometimes they make you work for it. <laughs> Jeez Louise. 
that's a pretty fish. All right, let's go ahead and throw them back. We'll call it a day. Gonna move off this spot and I'm gonna call it a day here and start moving down this bank a little bit and see what else we can get into. Pretty fish, just throw them back. drop off and see what else will hit that. Oh, oh, we're already on. Got it. There we go. Oh, let's see. Another little bass. Nice. Oh, let's see. Well, what we're not doing in size, we're making up for our numbers right now. <laughs> all right, now you go tell your grandpappy I'm looking for him, all right? I need a bigger fish. You go tell all your friends, I don't want no more about your size. I'm looking for your grandpappy. You tell your daddy I'm gonna beat him up, all right? Go on, go tell him. All right. Here we go, here we go, come on, come on. He's swimming with it. Let's see if this is grandpappy. Got him. Ooh. Come on. I don't know if that's grandpappy. That might be his daddy. I don't know if that's grandpappy. He feels a little bit bigger. Uh, not much though. No. It's you again. It's you again. Can I tell you go get your grandpappy? Hmm? Huh? Just greedy. You're just greedy, aren't you? You just keep coming back for more. I ain't gonna tell you again. Go tell your friends. Alright? Go tell the bigger ones I'm looking for them. I'm tired of talking to you. Oop, we're on. There we go. There we go. Come on. That's not grandpappy, but oh. That's definitely his dad though. Plenty of bass, plenty of bass to go around. Great day. I mean, I can't even describe how much fun I had today. It was such a good day. Thanks for joining me out on the water on this episode of Freshwater Diaries. Stay tuned. Join us next time. And remember, if it ain't fun, it ain't fishing. Tune in. I'll see you guys next time.